It's time for the Art Connection of East Texas. The Art Connection of East Texas is sponsored by Valorosa Designs and Gallery in Tyler's Bergfeld Center. Now let's welcome your host and co-host of the Art Connection of East Texas, Nita Fran Ward and Cindy Trimble. Good morning. We are here with the Art Connection of East Texas, and good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Nita Fran. Thank, Thank you for being the co-host and being here with me every Saturday. And bright and early. <laughs> it is pretty bright and early, isn't it? I was at Starbucks at 6.30. <laughs> well, I woke up at 5 and uh -huh, had my coffee, uh -huh. and happy to be here with our lovely guest yes, today. we have Kelsey Bailey. Good morning, Kelsey. Good morning. And good morning, Derek. We Hi have there. Derek Frazier. Yeah, that's right. And they are both with the Tyler Museum of Art, and... Uh, uh, we have some great experience having gone there and visited during the Chihuly exhibit, and we talked then about having them come on, and I'm going to do a, do a disclaimer right now. Kelsey's my great niece, <laughs> yes, and I am so proud of this girl, so proud of her. Well, Cindy, let's move right on into the program, and uh, we always start off thanking our sponsors. We thank Bergfield Insurance, Brad Bergfield, for being one of our sponsors, and Gold Leaf Gallery, Tracy Brevard, and we interview Tracy next week. So people, those of you who love Tracy and love her Gold Leaf Gallery, please uh, tune in because we have some very, very interesting uh, topics to talk with, with her. And uh, Brian Stone is going to be here also, and we're going to talk about the new asset program, Art Connection of East Texas, that uh, we're, talk we're talking about the membership program, and we have our new website up. It's uh, it asset looks great. It, yes, it does, <laughs> assetnetwork.net, and we thank you, Marv Harmon, for your work on that. And uh, the other uh, sponsor that we have this morning, our new sponsor is Royal Passage Antiques and Gifts, uh, Shelba Johnson. And Carla Sally, a silver lining, and they have the finest collection of shops in East Texas, and they have fine antiques, truly, truly fine antiques. Owning a piece of their pastimes, a true antique, reflecting quality of craftsmanship and beauty, and that completes the decor of any home, whether eclectic, modern, or traditional. You can find those treasures, and they are treasures at those two shops, Silver Lining Antiques and Royal Passage Antiques in the Bergfield Center. Both antique shops are full of special pieces thoughtfully displayed, and that's really important. They're not just thrown in there. They are very, very well displayed. I went in yesterday and visited them again. So visit them in Bergfield Center in Tyler. One well, and, and two, the the ladies that work there, Miss Carla and Shelba, are just so very well versed in the details of the antiques. They are uh, such warm personalities. So it's an experience just to go and learn, and always to look at the treasures. <laughs> yes, and we thank them for for being our sponsors of the Art Connection of East Texas. And Cindy, you have an, you have a big day ahead of you. Honey. I sure do. I'm headed straight after this show to Liberty Hall. Um, you know, we talk about art here on the show, but a passion of mine for 30 years is the art of healing. And I'm very proud to stand with Alexis Bortel and her family. She's going to be speaking at 10 a.m. at Liberty Hall and 3 p.m. at Longview Community Center. Uh, she is a medical refugee currently living in Colorado, but she's a Texas girl. And she stands proud for making a difference in the lives of children, and I'm quite honored to stand with she and her family today. So welcome Alexis right. to Texas. And that's what time this morning? 10 o'clock at Liberty Hall. Okay. Uh, on the 28th of May, we talked about next week what we're going to be doing for interviews. The 28th of May, let's speak to that because we're going to have Jacques Rodriguez yeah, we're Jacques Rodrique. And Rodrique. We're, yes, uh, George Rodriguez's father, so the exhibit there at the Longview Museum of Art of all of his collections. And we had a chance to meet Jacques. He has a great foundation for supporting the arts with children and was very eager to come and talk on the show. Of course, the famous Blue Dog and uh, all of the wonderful paintings. And as always in art, there's that evolution of the artist and the journey of their art. So you definitely want to check that out. And we're really excited to have our guest here from the Tyler Museum of yes, Art today. Yes, Tiffany will be here. She is the interim director. So this is two weeks from today, mm -hmm. May the 28th. So we have a great lineup. And our want to give credit to the young man who wrote the music for our, our theme. And uh, it's uh, Alex, it's Alex Starsteed. Ruiz. Starsteed. And listen to the music. He wrote it. He performs it. And anyone who needs someone to play at an event, he is a great young man 
to reach. You can call Valorosa Designs and Gallery. We'll give you out his number. Ah. Well, good morning. Here we are. Oh, we are, and we have a great program today. Uh, one of the things that did happen yesterday, and we had a meeting a couple of nights ago, and remember we were talking about trying to reach out to the, the young students in town, the artists who were, who were blossoming, and how we could uh, connect with them through the art gallery and invite them in and have them on the show. And I, I was uh, working at my desk, and I look up, and here come these two ladies, and it was... Mia Lynn, and she was the winner, the best of show winner for, at the Tyler Museum of Art annual high school students exhibit. Congratulations. And so, yes, and so we do congratulate Mia this morning, and she is headed to University of North Texas in the fall. Denton, and, Texas, uh, all yes, right. Yes, and we're just very proud of her, and it was so great to have her walk in. She said she just wanted to see the gallery. Someone had told her to come by and see, and we were very, it was a great interview. Her aunt brought her by, so we are appreciative of that. And you you guys were talking about meeting her and knowing her. Speak to that, Derek. Yeah, that's right. Um, at the uh, reception that we had for the high school show, she was... Uh, she was in the in the gallery when Kelsey announced the winners of the show, and she was kind of standing by me in the back because I like to stand in the back and watch. You stand <laughs> and, in the yeah, back and watch. Yeah, <laughs> just just watch and enjoy it while Kelsey was kind of leading the show, and she was standing next to me. And when they announced her name, she just it was she was so cute. She just kind of <laughs> was shocked. You know, she was, just kind of couldn't believe it. And uh-huh. she, just kind of made her way up there to the front to take yes, the award. It was, yes, it was just, She sounds very humble. <laughs> yeah, she's you tell. definitely very deserving. Oh, very the, talented. The title of Best of Show. And now, those <clears throat> those pieces were taken down a couple of weeks ago, weren't they? Because right. because we announced yes. it that it was the last day of that. Right. So they're not there anymore. Well, you guys have a great program coming up this summer, and that's what Kelsey does. Kelsey is the education coordinator. And so, Kelsey, I'd like for you to speak to your summer art program because this is really one of the reasons that we wanted to do this because we, our whole focus has been promoting art in the community. And, and you, you t- start out with these young people and giving them the opportunity and how, how fun that is but how educational it is. And it gives them an opportunity to do something in the summer Mm-hmm. Besides just sit in front of that TV. Definitely. Yeah. All so right. we have um, we have four um, different classes that we have scheduled and we have um, they're each a week long, but we also have two, um, I guess, separate age groups. So each class is going to be for two weeks just for two separate age groups. Um, Action through art, um, which is kind of a, a like a 2D version of kinetic art, like moving yourself while you make art. Kinetic art, uh, making sculptures that move. Um, Let's Go Lego, we had a Lego exhibit last year that was very, very successful, so we want to kind of bring that back in. I hear you do a lot of playing and practicing at the museum with the Legos. Yeah, yes, definitely. We, <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with a Lego. <laughs> yeah. Kelsey and I keep the 7,000 Legos in our collection out all the time. You were even all talking 7, about Chris <laughs> coming by and, and yeah. playing with the Legos. Right now. Literally right now on our desk is a big pyramid of Legos that Chris comes by and works on about once a week. Kind of like a crossword puzzle. You just yeah, can't yeah, pass right. it without yeah, touching exactly. it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Go ahead, exactly. Kelsey. Um, so we have the Let's Go Lego camp that's um, kind of experimenting with Legos in a different way, maybe building. Um, I know we're going to have one thing that's like print making with mm-hmm. Legos, which is going to mm-hmm. be really fun. Uh-huh. And then we have um, a designer's challenge. And this this class is a little bit different. It's geared towards um, slightly older kids, um, and they get to experiment with the mystery material and just really see what they can do with that. And okay. We we approach that class as as a college uh, design class. In the, sure. In the past, we've built a working uh, catapult that threw water balloons. Okay. We um, we have built machines that would fly through the air. Um, we built a life-size TARDIS from Doctor Who in the classroom. So it really is a challenge, kind mm-hmm. of. Yeah. of, but, of yeah. uh, it sounds like your scientific background comes in with some of these fun, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. unusual I opportunities. <laughs> I think it does, too. What we are getting ready for a break, but when we come back, uh, Kelsey, I will want you to talk about these. I, I know this is a lot of material, mm-hmm. and but at the same time, I think that parents need to know 
when they are, and, and the whole idea is to get this information okay. out there to them. So we're going to take a break now, and Mr. Chris is going to play our music again. Sean Hannity, weekdays at 2. Set a new button for 97.5 FM, KTBB. As a family-owned business, the Bergfeld Insurance Agency values treasured heirlooms. The agency has been passed down through generations, so they understand the importance of insuring family history. Trust the Bergfeld Agency to insure your collectible art and precious jewels. Homeowner policies may not cover your collection. So call today for a free quote. They're an independent agency offering customized policies from multiple carriers for home, auto, RV, and business. Bergfeldagency.com. Falling oil prices have had a huge impact on many East Texas families. I know because I'm in the oil business myself. That's why it's a great time to create a family business dedicated to putting your money to work for you. I'm David Mitchell, founder of New Venture on Wall Street. My great-grandfather got us in the oil business. My grandfather learned how to become a great stock trader to deal with the excess money. Now we teach these skill sets to families all around the country. At our next two-day New Venture on Wall Street training event, we will teach you methods of shorter-term investing with the goal of generating monthly cash flow. Come learn how to take control of your money and put it to work for your family. New Venture on Wall Street. Build your legacy. Coming to the Hilton Garden Inn Longview, May 20th and 21st, only $99.95 for your entire household, plus a free ticket for a friend and a full money-back guarantee. To register, call 877-907-TRADE. That's 877-907-8723. Or go to nvows.com. That's N-V-O-W-S dot com. We have a saying in American plumbing, you want to be able to choose when you replace your water heater. Don't let your water heater choose. That's Lori Townsend, customer service manager at American Plumbing Company of Tyler. Because that water heater may choose in the middle of the night, flooding your house, and it won't be pleasant. Water heaters don't last forever. Don't wait to find out the hard way that yours needs to be replaced. We're going to treat your home as if it were our own. We like to monitor the equipment of our customers' homes, and if your water heater is 15 to 20 years old, that's a good time to start looking at replacing it. To protect your property, you don't want to have to deal with that kind of catastrophe or that stressful situation. American Plumbing Company, serving all of East Texas for nearly 30 years. American Plumbing is fully insured and is an A-plus accredited business with the Better Business Bureau. Repairs, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. American Plumbing Company, online at apctyler.com. American Plumbing Company, license number M10861. If you've ever hired a contractor to do construction, build out, or remodel work at your business, chances are the job wound up going over budget and taking too long. Hi, Paul Gleiser here. You know, we kind of just know that's going to happen. I know I did. Right up until Caliber Associates came in and did a complete makeover of our offices and studios here at KTBB. It was miraculous. Caliber Associates arrived when they said they'd arrived. They were finished when they said they'd be finished, actually a couple of days early. And I was never asked for an additional dime. That was two years ago. Recently, we updated our entrance with a beautiful glass front. Job quoted, job done. Amazing. If you own or run a business and need construction or remodel work done, you owe it to yourself, your shareholders, and your employees to let Caliber Associates bid the job. Call me, and I'll be glad to show you the work they did for us. Caliber Associates. You'll find them online at C-A-L-I-B-E-R-G-C dot com. Caliber Associates. Online at CaliberGC dot com. Hi, John Bass from Majors Pharmacy. Woo! Son, come see us at Major's Pharmacy, because, brother, they got it all. When you don't feel well and need a prescription filled quickly, the chain pharmacies will make you wait. Major's Pharmacy won't. Bring your prescription to Major's Pharmacy, and in most cases, they'll fill it and have you on your way in 15 minutes or less. Major's Pharmacy accepts most major insurance plans. Major's Pharmacy, South Broadway at Shelley Drive, across from Wagner Cadillac, and online at Major'sPharmacy.com. Take us with you on your smartphone or iPad. Search KTPB in the App Store. Sponsored by Tyler Ford. And good morning. We are here live at the Art Connection of East Texas. I'm your co-host, Cindy Trimble, here with Nita Fran Ward, our host. And we have our lovely guest from the Tyler Museum of Art. We welcome Kelsey Bailey and Derek Frazier. Right before the commercial break, we were speaking about these summer art classes at the museum. And I think you have some more information on some of the dates and fun programs that you guys have offering. Yes, definitely. Um, so 
the first week of each camp is going to be for um, ages from six to eight and it's ninety five dollars a session we can only fit in ten campers we are kind of limited on space um, um, the first camp action through art it's from june thirteenth to the seventeenth and it's monday through friday nine a.m. to twelve p.m. the second um, camp is kinetic art art that moves you and it is from june twenty seventh to july first it's nine a.m. to twelve p.m. monday through friday and then Let's Go Lego is July 18th through the 22nd, and it's 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday through Friday also. Um, the second age group is from 9 to 12. They're also $95 a session, um, 10, 10 campers per group. Um, Action Through Art for this one is June 20th through the 21st, 24th. I'm sorry. Um, kinetic Art is from July 11th through the 15th, and Let's Go Lego is from July 25th to 29th. The designer's challenge that I mentioned earlier that was geared towards older students is for campers 13 and up, and it's limited to five students because um, we're going to be building some bigger sculptures, so there's more of a space constraint. Um, and it's $160 per session, and it is August 1st through the 5th, and it's a 9 to 4 p.m. Um, camp. So, And you're encouraging people to pre-register. Yes, ma'am, definitely. Where, where, Kelsey, can they find this information? So I know that that was a lot of information yeah. <laughs> quickly, and people need to refer back to it. And I'm sure that you have, uh, what is your website? Um, our website is uh, www.tylermuseum.org, um, or you can call up to, to the museum at 903-595-1001 um, and talk to somebody about the summer camps. I believe this form is on our website, so you can submit it. Okay, and um, all the information to us, and the instructions is right there for a parent to fill out. Yes, ma'am. We okay. also have an education blog at uh, tmaeducation.org, and all the information about summer camps is on there as well, as, uh, as well as information about upcoming exhibitions, what's going on at the museum, what great. our education program does. That's great, and before we end the program, I want to go back and repeat these for people people so they can be sure they've written them down okay. correctly. All right. Let, well, let's just move right on. And uh, I would like to find out from the two of you what's going on at the museum right now. I understand we have a new exhibit opening. Yes, that's you right. you want to speak to that, Derek? Sure. Um, the new program or the new exhibition is called Modern Masters, 20th Century Prints. Um, as part of our job, Kelsey and I do installations of exhibitions. And we were fortunate enough to uh, be hanging original works by Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, Andy Warhol, Keith Haring, uh, Roy Lichtenstein. Roy Lichtenstein. Like, wow. What a lineup! I know. Robert Rauschenberg, uh, Jim Dine. Uh, All these names that we understand. Donald and Judd. <laughs> Here and Tyler. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Tyler. That's right. Well, I have a question for you. What is a day like normally at the museum with all of these wonderful inspirations around you? <laughs> well, it, it completely changes every single day. It depends on what's going on. If we uh, are changing installations, uh, Kelsey and I are working in the gallery, um, lifting sandbags, moving cases, hanging paintings, setting lights, doing things like that. And sometimes you have to even repair the walls. Yes. <laughs> sometimes we have to move the walls. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's. It's so your movers and shakers, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, emphasis on the movers. <laughs> so our knees are shaking at the end of the day. And, and, and go ahead. And then um, once the exhibitions are up, um, we start our education programs, and we will bring uh, students uh, from second grade all the way up through university students through the gallery for tours and things like that. We are lucky enough to have wonderful docents, volunteers that help us with our tours. Um, we are I'm fortunate enough to work with Kelsey, who is fantastic at leading tours. Oh, Thank nice. you. Well, you said that you bring in maybe 3,000 children a year from yeah. various cities to come here to Tyler. Please speak to that. I think it's so fascinating. Yeah, last year, last school year, though, uh, including up toward uh, June 1st, um, we will have brought in almost 3,000 students through the museum. You did this through your grants, being yeah. able to help? Yeah, we've had several grants uh, that have allowed us to uh, reimburse schools for their tra travel costs, which means the, the buses, the bus drivers, and everything. And you said you have brought them in as far as Paris, Texas, all the way here to Tyler. Right, right. That's just a wonderful right. opportunity for yes, these children to be exposed at such an early age. That's yes. great. 
And it's, it's amazing. Some of the students, um, generally we have like a tour first and then we have some kind of art activity that relates to what they saw in the galleries. And it's amazing to see, especially the kids that don't have um, like a regular art class in school, it's amazing to see what they can create when they come to the museum and are really inspired and just excited about art. So. And I think that's a key thing too, like art has been taken away from so many of the schools and it really allows that creative process that helps in so much developmental education along the way. Yes, ma'am. I'm always curious about the logistics of things. So you contact the schools through letters? Yeah. And, and, um, uh, we, have, we have strong relationships with all of the art teachers in mm -hmm. our area, especially Tyler, but uh, increasingly in the uh, si or towns and cities around us. Uh, we have sort of a network of among art teachers and teachers in general, I guess. And uh, we send out emails periodically. A lot of them we just know from them coming to the museum and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So we might call them or when we see them at museum functions, we'll talk about it. We're kind of, we are definitely hooked into the uh, uh, education community mm -hmm. in East Texas. Mm -hmm. And so you send them the letter or you mm -hmm. send them an email, you invite them to come on. They, mm -hmm. they set a time and the cost it's going to cost them. So you reimburse the school, mm -hmm. you bring them in and uh, they uh, do you have a limit just to the number that they can bring in at a time generally we try to keep uh, a tour down to the size of one class just because that's all 30 we can, students yeah, average of yeah, 30 students yeah, 20 yeah usually about 25 because that's really all we can accommodate in our classroom at one time mm -hmm. but lately we've been uh, fortunate enough to be able to bring uh, kiddos in from like you said from Paris and up around Pittsburgh and those places mm -hmm. when they come down it's just uh, makes more sense for them to bring a hundred kids well, sure. instead of twenty-five because they can get that many on a bus. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Okay, and so you can kind of rotate this, and and the the one thing that that Cindy and I both just lit up about was that y'all actually feed them lunch. They mm -hmm. they go to the museum free. You feed them lunch. Talk about that. Yeah. So um, actually, this Thursday we have a group from. Paris, I, I believe, mm -hmm. again, coming um, of, I think it's 92 second graders. How about that? Oh, yeah, oh, so we have, a, we have a big group coming up on Thursday, um, and they are, they're going to be with us for half of the time, and then we also, um, like, plan uh, in accordance with the planetarium on the TJC campus, mm -hmm. um, so they get to, like, art and science all in one day, uh -huh. um, and generally, we kind of split the day in half, so half of the day is art, half the day is science, and we have lunch in the middle, um, and we, we've been using Einstein's Brothers Bagels here in Tyler um, to help us with catering, so. No, well, that's great. Great to partner with uh, other businesses here in the community yes, and keep definitely. it local, right? You know, that's how sure. we get so much of our funding is from mm -hmm. local businesses, sure. you know, contributing sure. and, you know, supporting our programs. Mm -hmm. if, if the local community didn't get in and, uh, and do things like that for us, we, we would have a really hard well, time. Well, sure, sure. Let's go back to your day because uh, you were talking about when you're setting up for for a show and and there's a lot of physical work mm -hmm. from the time that you you sit down and you make your plans how many years in advance are you planning out i think right now we have the exhibits for the next two years mm -hmm. like pretty much nailed down mm -hmm. so because that takes a lot of planning mm -hmm. you, you know what's coming in you know when it's coming you know the time frame it's going to take you to get it installed and there's a lot to do about putting the right information with the right piece so that when people do come in there's a tremendous amount of work mm -hmm. that goes in to the installation of a show yeah that's not right. just manual labor but research as well so with, with sure. our dale chihuly show that's up right now uh kayla bell uh, our staff member who uh, curated it he started working on that a little over a year ago tracking mm -hmm. down the pieces finding the people that could lend it mm -hmm. contacting other museums and those kinds of things and that that's someone i have not met i have met all, the three of y'all but i have not met caleb and uh, it is time for us to take a break and chris is looking at me with the evil eye <laughs> oh hi chris <laughs> art connection of east texas news talk weather set a new button for 97.5 fm ktbb Hello, this is Steven Sluter from the Rose Spa in the Cascades. The month of April is known in the cancer community as Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. 
Since I am a testicular cancer survivor and this subject hits close to home, we are doing a fundraiser to give to charity. During the month of April, all the proceeds from any hair treatment will be donated to the Lance Armstrong Live Strong Foundation. Join us in giving back to the cancer community by booking your hair treatment now. Do you remember the last time your electricity went out? Did you have to take a cold shower like I did? How much food in your refrigerator and freezer did you lose? If you were lucky, it was just an annoyance. If your power was out for days, it was costly and extremely inconvenient. What if I told you that you would never have to deal with no electricity again? East Texas Generators is a locally owned company that carries Briggs & Stratton home generator systems. You will never even notice that your electricity has gone out because your home generator system will kick right in and you can go on with your normal routines without any worries. Briggs & Stratton has been a trusted name for nearly a century and offer the best comprehensive parts and labor warranty in the industry. Protect your home and family with a quiet, affordable Briggs & Stratton generator from East Texas Generators, the experts in commercial and residential generators. Call 561-0180. That's 561-0180. Call East Texas Generators at 903-561-0180. East Texas Generators. Right now, today, open up your bottom dresser drawer or that jewelry box stuffed in a closet because sitting there out of sight and out of mind, there may be money waiting to be set free this weekend at the Greater Longview Spring Coin Show. The Greater Longview Spring Coin Show is your chance to buy, sell, or appraise your precious coins, U.S. coins, world coins, ancient coins, paper money, and gold and silver bullion. If you have gold coins, old coins, or silver coins, the Greater Longview Spring Coin Show can turn them into cash. If you're a numismatic collector, the Greater Longview Spring Coin Show is your chance to buy the coins you need. It's all happening this weekend, May 13th through the 15th at the Holiday Inn Express on Tuttle Circle in Longview, across from the Longview Mall. Free admission, free parking, and hourly door prizes at the Greater Longview Spring Coin Show. It's today and tomorrow. Google search Longview Spring Coin Show for more information. The Greater Longview Spring Coin Show. Buy, sell, appraise at the Holiday Inn on Tuttle Circle across Cross from Longview Mall. I've been reading up recently on port wines. Hi, this is Paul Gleiser. A port is a wine that's made by fortifying traditional red wines with what can loosely be called a brandy, although it's not the kind of brandy you drink in a snifter. When done well, it creates a wine that serves perfectly after dinner, a dessert wine, if you will. When done very well, it becomes a vintage port a wine with a declared year of creation. So it is with Keepersall's 2005 Texas Port. For 10 years, a fortified blend of 2005 Keepersall Merlot, Cabernet, and Syrah has been quietly aging in natural French oak. The result is nothing short of exquisite. It takes skill and a bit of luck to create a good port. Both have come together creating this port. Thus, a visit to the Keepersall Winery to try it for yourself is a must. Of course, the nominal $1 tasting fee, as always, is on me. Go south on Broadway to FM 344, left under the bridge a mile and a half to the Keepersall entrance gate on your left, and then follow the signs. Learn more at Keepersall.com. Katie Pratt here with Pratt Homes of Tyler. If you weren't looking to build your dream home and $100 per square foot ended up not fitting your budget and you're really not interested in purchasing a manufactured home, maybe, just maybe, a Pratt Modular Home is the solution. Pratt Homes will custom build over 300 floor plans with the exact same materials as a site-built home for pennies on the dollar. How, you ask? Go by and see my daddy on the East Loop in Tyler or go to PrattModularHomes.com and find out. That's PrattModularHomes.com. News, weather, anytime, anywhere at KTBB.com. KTBB.com, hosted by Group M7. We're so glad to have you with us this morning. This is Nita Friend Ward with Art Connection of East Texas. Please check out our new website at asset, A C E T, network.net. We'd love for you to look at it and, and uh, have all the information about what we do and what uh, Valorosa is doing. We had a great art show for the Hideaway people last uh, weekend and really enjoyed them. They were so delightful, and we still have the show up for the next couple of weeks, so be sure and come by the gallery at Suite 108 in Burfield Center to see their work. And y'all have had a lot of activity there. Every time I walk down to the health I know, store, I'm like, Look, I know. What's going we are on? having lots of people beast. come in and and visit. And actually, yesterday I spent about an hour with a lady who 
loves the museum. She goes over there for lunch every day. She says, I go two, three days a week. And uh, I said, you have lunch at the museum? And, and we got to talking about how we, I, when I lived in Dallas, I went to the Kimball mm-hmm. a lot. And that was one of my favorite things to do, was to have lunch at the Kimball. And I said, oh, wow, I didn't know they served lunch at, at uh, your place, at the Tyler Museum of Art. So talk about that, Derek. Sure. Um, we have a small cafe. It's open for lunch uh, Tuesday through Friday uh, from 11.30 to 1.30. 1.30. Mm-hmm. Um, our cook uh, is a woman named Lourdes. And I am not kidding y'all. She makes the best soups you will ever have in your life. Mm. <laughs> so it's worth the effort. It is <laughs> most <so> definitely <laughs> wonderful. She's she was written up in the in the paper a couple of years ago just because of her her, her soups. soups. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, the art of cooking. The art of definitely. cooking. Yeah, I have you, not mastered that. <laughs> y'all, y'all, come on over, y'all come on over and I'll buy you a bowl mm. of soup. And oh, yeah. Something yeah. that we about. hear something that we hear a lot from visitors is they lo- they love. Being able to look at the art and um, the environment of our museum, it's normally pretty relaxed and calm. You do um, feel that. Yes, and then just coming in and you also smell like home-cooked food, oh, like wow. home-cooked soup <laughs> on the stove. And it's just very it's very comforting and really, really awesome, I think. So. Well, you're hitting on all of those senses, you know, mm-hmm, the exactly. visual senses right. and the, the smelling and the tactile. So I think we're doing okay here. Yeah. Well, well I, I, we're both so excited. Everything I about the Museum. <laughs> I was excited. Today is Family Day. And yes. you guys have some great activities even just this week. Can you speak to that, yes. Ms. Kelsey? So Family Day is the second Saturday of every month, and it's from 2 to 4. Um, and this week we have several activities going on. Um, we're going to be doing printmaking, and we brought out all of our Legos again. Um, so we can, like the kids can experiment with building some kind of something out of Legos. Um, but we have a couple other cool activities planned as well. So if you guys can come on out today that would be probably a lot of fun and it's free so (laughs) and what time um from two to four the second saturday of every month and then right after that you have a big event happening yes talk about that Derek. sure um at uh 5 30 we have uh the members preview uh party for our new exhibition modern masters uh 20th century Mm prints and the show actually opens tomorrow and we'll run through um it's just gonna run early summer. Early summer, <laughs> okay. Summer. Um, About two and a half months. Oh, remember. July twenty fourth. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we're we talking go. a little over two more, two months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Is that usually the normal range of what you keep a show up? Uh, this one's a little shorter than usual. Yeah, mm-hmm. we. Um, usually shoot for about three months i think with all of that work you ha- right. almost have to don't mm-hmm. you right right it's a frantic two weeks in between shows when we're taken oh, yeah. down and yeah. putting things up and there's we have a little a little crew a little team of uh people that come into the gallery all and work all together and we're they're volunteers no they're they are people on our staff they're, uh joshua okay. our registrar uh-huh. uh joe beth cox who works with 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 josh closely and mm-hmm. we there's so much that goes on in there. It's just you just all incredible. gather there, yeah. mm-hmm. and that's your focus for that length of time. Right, yes. right. For two weeks, we'll do nothing yeah. but you know install and deinstall art. So at 5:30, if you are a member, you can attend the membership reception. That's mm-hmm. right. That's right. And let's speak to that because people may not realize how inexpensive it is to become a member and how important it is for you to have that membership list growing. Mm -hmm. That provides those programs that you've been talking about. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, I think uh, the typical uh, membership level is $25 a year. Um, That money helps us, you know, keep the doors open. I think 90, Chris said, our director told me that uh, 94 cents out of every dollar that we uh, spend is through uh, donations and memberships. Mm-hmm. So it's really important that uh, people, is. you know, if they like the museum, if they like what we're doing, to, to support us that way. One really uh, nice thing about becoming a member is that you uh, get um, a membership into uh, a, a, the North American Reciprocal Museum Association, which we just call NARM because that's way too many words for me to remember. <laughs> um, so anyone who joins Tyler mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
And do you have a list of all of those that are available? Are they all over the state? They are all over the 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 United States. Mm -hmm. There are hundreds of them. And we give you a little card that says NARM in your name, and you go to a museum, and they'll they'll get let you in for free. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it every museum, or do we have? It's not every museum. There is a list. Um, If you ever come by, it's there's a a small membership table right by the front desk, and it has, um, I I believe there's a, a little a note card that kind of lists some of the um, some of the museums that are included in NARM. Would it be possible for me as, the, as, as Kim and I in the gallery to have this information so that we can hand out to guests and encourage them to become members? Could you do that? Sure. Would that be okay? Yeah. Because I would love to have absolutely. the information there and really promote promote people joining and, and supporting this program. Well, you're becoming our new best friend. Yeah. Well, I want to be your new best friend because... Awesome. She's like one of my C- new best friends. <laughs> like Cindy and I have talked about, and, and Kim and Brian Stone mm-hmm. and, and Marvin, all of this movement for the asset, the whole idea is connecting East Texas art right. and artists, right. giving the art artist a voice, and that's what the show is about. Mm-hmm. So... I want to promote that. I want to promote Longview Museum for that area because my family, part of my family, my daughter and son-in-law and three grandchildren just moved to Spring Hill. He's working for Longview. So I I am very interested in promoting that area too. You know, there's a, a personal interest, but there's also that love of art. Yep. Our next thing that we are going to do, and we're going to start this before the break, we're going to talk about the two of you. And it's always interesting how people end up in the art world is it genetic is it something they started out doing when they were very young uh is it something that they have just morphed into so kelsey knowing you knowing your family (laughs) uh since you are family let's talk about when you decided that there was something within you that wanted to be an artist okay um well i've always kind of known that i loved art um from a really young age it's what i've always wanted to do Um, And when I started college, I kind of went against that, I guess. I started off as, um, like, in a a teaching, four-year teaching degree, and it just just wasn't the right fit. And all I I wanted to do was make art. So I just wanted to make myself happy, basically. (laughs) So I I went for it, um, and nobody in my family ever told me that it was a bad decision. Nobody was ever anything but 100% supportive of me um, and... I mean, that's what they've always been, is completely mm-hmm. supportive of what I wanted to do. They just wanted me to, to get an education, basically, sure. in, in whatever it was. So. And you just graduated with your Bachelor of Fine yes, Arts. Yes, ma'am, last you just, Friday. You just Congratulations. went through everything. Yes. Yes. You got engaged that same weekend. Yes, yes I'm very, I did. very proud of, of Kelsey. <laughs> yes, <laughs> For we're all kinds very of proud of Ke- Kelsey. And I understand that the two of you just have lots and lots of fun at the museum. Oh, yes, most definitely. <laughs> this is, this is the best place I've ever worked, for yeah, sure. Yeah. We, we definitely have the best jobs in the museum oh yeah i mean we, we have a good time we get to hang out with kids we get to play with like art materials and, and stuff and yeah, Legos. Legos. i'm coming to camp yes. <laughs> I, 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 so too. she came to family day just to, to see what a pile of seven thousand legos looks like yes it's, pretty mm-hmm. impressive. it's very impressive <laughs> i bet so so talk about your art um my art i'm i'm kind of i guess a more traditional oil painter um i paint pretty large-scale paintings. Um, all of my senior show is actually still up right now at UT Tyler in the um, the University Center upstairs. Um, and I paint skyscapes in kind of a abstract way that really makes people, I, I think, see the movement that's in the sky. Movement so. and color. Mm-hmm. One of the things that Definitely. I see is so much color. And they, they make you happy. Yeah, that's. I kind of want them to to have like an uplifting mood about mm-hmm. them, and they so. do. I think that they certainly do. You Thank certainly you. hit on that. If there were something else that you wanted to paint, if you wanted to go another direction, have you ever thought about what you would do? Um, it took me a really long time to get to the skyscape point, so mm-hmm. I think I'm still kind of stuck on that for a little bit. Um, <laughs> before I was painting this, I was painting very, um, very non-objective, really abstract things, and I I just couldn't. I wasn't really happy with with what it was doing for me. Sure. So I wanted some kind of, I guess, substance, some kind of 
subject material that I that I could really connect to and I've always had my head in the clouds so <laughs> I mean it kind of makes it kind of makes perfect sense <laughs> okay well That's would wonderful. you like to say hello to your family and to your fiance oh um, yeah, I think out. he's well, probably still asleep, but yeah. Um, uh, hi, Mom. <laughs> hi, Mom. Hi, Valerie. Did you know Valerie Fran has my middle name? Yes, she, she does. does. When she was little, she used to say um, that her middle name was Friend. Friend. Mm-hmm. Valerie she didn't Friend. know it was Fran. <laughs> well, that's what I tell people. If you want to remember my name, it's Need a Friend, call me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Derek, you have quite a history, too. It's... Let me say this. You evidently have a cross brain because <laughs> you are very right brained and left brain at the same time. That's kind of like my Marv. Environmental biology, ecology, mm-hmm. Bachelor of Science degree mm-hmm. from Arlington, mm-hmm. University mm-hmm. of Arlington. Arlington. Then you have two degrees from University of Tyler, mm-hmm. uh, visual art and English literature. You write poetry. Uh-huh. Um, so you have a lot of interests. Talk about you. <laughs> well, um, I my first degree that I got was a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Biology and Ecology. Um, I worked for about 10 years in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area as an environmental consultant. Um, it was my job to help large industries keep the pollution out of the water. That's basically what I did in a nutshell. Okay. Now, we're going to jump into the break, but we're going to come right back and pick up with you. So if you want to tell any wild stories, just hold them for a moment. (laughs) All over East Texas, all in one place on the FM dial. Set a new button for 97.5 FM, KTBV. You've waited months to bring it home, a beautiful painting that still takes your breath away, and you have just the right place in mind to hang it. All that's missing is a custom frame, that final detail that ties it all together. Trust your artwork to Gold Leaf Gallery. With an eye for detail and a heart for artists, Gold Leaf Gallery offers custom framing and personalized service. Gold Leaf Gallery in the French Quarter in Tyler. Framing by artists for artists. Goldleafgallery.com. Sometimes opportunities come which have the potential for changing your life. Will you recognize it? I'm pastor and businessman David Mitchell. Come join me and my team for a two-day training session where you will learn how to cut out the middleman and manage your own finances. Learn powerful short-term trading strategies for generating cash flow as well as longer-term strategies for more safety. All of these have been passed down for generations in my family. I look forward to sharing these powerful skill sets with you. Perhaps this is the opportunity you shouldn't pass up. New Venture on Wall Street. Build your legacy. Coming to the Hilton Garden Inn Longview, May 20th and 21st, only $99.95 for your entire household, plus a free ticket for a friend and a full money-back guarantee. To register, call 877-907-TRADE, that's 877-907-8723, or go to nvows.com, that's N-V-O-W-S dot com. On Tyler's Northeast Loop, you will find a business that is number one in tractor sales and service in Smith County. It's Rose Country Tractor. It's been around for decades, but Rose Country Tractor is more than just a place to buy your Kubota riding lawnmowers, zero-turn mowers, baling equipment, and tractors. Oh, sure, they've got tractors from compact up to the cab models, and they're known for their quality, durability, and many safety features. Plus, they also carry Brush Hog and Vermeer products. And Robert and Junior can help you pick out the right piece of equipment for the job that you're facing. But Rose Country Tractor is also known for Big John and the crew in the service department, and Rose and Nicholas in the parts department. Their goal is to provide you with quality products and service. Now, whether you need one piece of equipment or bids for several, let me recommend to you Rose Country Tractor. You'll find them on Tyler's Northeast Loop. Remember the name, Rose Country Tractor. One of the business buzzwords today is metric. Hi, this is Paul Gleiser for the University of Texas at Tyler. A metric is a key measure of the economic value of something. When we were young, how much we spent on college wasn't so critical because in the great arc of life, the money came back many times over. 
That metric has changed. College costs have greatly outpaced inflation, and many students are graduating college under a mountain of debt that affects every subsequent decision about their lives. That's why your student should consider the University of Texas at Tyler. With over 80 degree programs in a setting that emphasizes instruction and close student-faculty interaction, UT Tyler is a tremendous education value. Your student will leave the university with a fine education at a cost that makes a lifetime of economic sense. Think about smaller classes, lower tuition, and outstanding academics. Then schedule a tour at uttyler.edu. uttyler.edu, the University of Texas at Tyler. Hey, KTBB listeners, Dave Ramsey here from my home and auto insurance ELP, Chris Suddeth of the ARC Assurance Group. Chris can use his network of insurance providers and search for better coverage and a better deal for you. He's an independent insurance professional, and that means he works for you, not the insurance company. Call Chris Suddeth at 903-509-2292. That's 903-509-2292 to find better, more affordable home and auto insurance today. Glenn Beck, weekdays at 8. Set a new button for 97.5 FM, KTBB. And welcome back to the Art Connection of East Texas. I'm Cindy Trimble here with Nita Fran Ward and our two guests here from the Tyler Museum of Art. We do want to encourage everyone to come on out to Bergfeld Center today to see our antique stores there and also mention the Valorosa Gallery and Designs. Derek, we're getting back to you here. I am... Um, Rather curious, this long list of experience I see here with you. How did you jump from the world of science to art? <laughs> that just fascinated me, too. <laughs> well, I, I worked as a consultant for a long time. I ended up working uh, in the oil fields in central Texas, uh, doing environmental work, trying to help uh, keep the crud out of the waterways down there. After three or four years of being in the oil fields, I thought, it just didn't work <laughs> for me right now. So I went back to school. Didn't I, make you happy. Well, yeah, I, you know, I felt like I was doing some, some good work out there. I was making a little difference, but uh, it just got, you know, to be really hard work, being on the road, traveling and stuff, being away from my family. Mm -hmm. just just was not fun anymore. It's grueling. I traveled for years. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. a lifestyle. Yeah. It'll, it'll take you out of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I went back to school at UT Tyler. I got a degree in uh, art and a uh, master's in English literature. And so you, here I am. Okay. Do you do oil painting? Uh, I never really considered myself a painter. I did a, so I did some sculpture and, and collage work and things like that. I, I think, I don't know if I'm a very good artist, visual artist, but I, I, I'm a pretty good writer, so I kind of switched to that. See, I do a lot of writing, too. I have a couple books of poetry, so we are yeah. eye to eye on that, right. too. Uh -huh. But it is the art of writing and creative use of words. Uh -huh. and yeah, gifts. absolutely. Absolutely. And um, my studies in, in art um, have... Uh, given my writing, I think, a lot uh, stronger legs. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a lot of inspiration in uh, in my writing from the visual arts, which is something I picked up from studying art history so much. And I noticed that you said that your wife was the one that encouraged you. Yeah. That's important. Yeah, absolutely. Without uh, my wife, you know, I, there's no way I could have made that transition. Because that's, you know, think about it. I went from working as a consultant, you know, which is a fairly you know lucrative well, fairly a lucrative good word. <laughs> fairly lucrative um that's a good word um to being a full-time student which pays you know zero mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. and she encouraged me and to do it's it. expensive on the other side of yeah it. <laughs> yeah yeah you know you so get those she worked in and, and mm -hmm. kept you going that's right that's she's wonderful. a kindergarten teacher so mm -hmm. uh you know she lots and lots of, of people have done that and yeah but it it in what it does is it solidifies that family. It's difficult sometimes at the time it's going on, but then everybody's supporting each other yeah, in many, that's right. many other that's right. ways. That's right. You get through to the other side, and everybody just goes, ah. Oh. We did it. We got there. <laughs> we and got it is there. the support of our family and friends that carries us it through does. the trials yeah, and absolutely. tribulations absolutely. of everyday life and yeah, gives us those strength. Yeah, legs absolutely. of strength to stand upon. And my, my daughter's 14 year old, years old, and I think she enjoys being able to say, my dad's an artist. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy saying that about my dad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Instant and that street elevates. Cred, you know. <laughs> That's an elevating thing. That's yeah, wonderful. Is, That's is. great. You know, art and science really are, are two things that really make us, define us as, as human. You sure. know, and it's things that we can explore and sure. be proud of. Sure. But it's the unification of that left brain, right brain, mm -hmm. the yin and the yang and mm -hmm. the balance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've got a little bit of, of uh, covering here to do to get, to wrap this up. 
talk a little bit for a moment, the summer art program, Kelsey. You want people to contact you where? Um, if you're interested in the summer art camps, just contact us. Um, you can call up to the museum every day. We're open um, every day except for Monday. Um, there's usually still someone there to op answer the phone, at least on Mondays, though. Um, the phone number is 903-595-1001, or you can look online for a little bit more information at www.tylermuseum.org. I really, really appreciate both of you being here, and let's continue to promote the student processes of bringing them in and whatever it takes to keep those programs going. That is so vital to their education, because without art in their education, there's a vacuum there. There's a big hole, mm -hmm. and they need to be able to see those those finer things in life. That is exactly right, and uh, that's what uh, Kelsey and I strive for, and we keep in mind every single day at work. So if you're not a member of the Tyler Museum of Art, $25 is what, five cups of maybe 10 cups of coffee? Yeah, maybe, or, or three, <laughs> five at, three at Starbucks. <laughs> Your only local news radio, 97.5 KTPB-FM.